The appointment funnel fits your marketing goal. Hi, my name is Lainey and I want to go through the appointment funnel with you a little bit and give you some hacks, some funnel building hacks that will help you be more successful with your appointment funnel. All right, let's start with it. But before I get into it, I really have to say this is the most popular funnel to generate qualified prospects for sales and really the most measurable way to fill your calendar automatically. Let's check out the template that we have in perspective for the appointment funnel. And I will switch to my screen over here. All right, so this is the appointment funnel template. You can find this in your perspective account for free. You can just check it out, download it into your account and start um, adjusting it to your business, to your liking or to your customer's business. Taking a look at it, um, you can already see that the first view screen that you pretty much would have if you open this funnel on your smartphone um, already shows the first action step. And this is a tip that I want to give you before really starting into this video that your focus when building a funnel is always that, that an action step is always doable within the first view on the funnel. Why is that? That is because once we have the smartphone in our hands, all we do is scroll or tip. When we scroll, we're looking for further information or a site is just not optimized the perfect way. And when we tip, we just accept something or we are hyped and want to get something to work. All right. Now that you know that, keep this in mind when building a funnel, any funnel, this does not only apply to the appointment funnel, but especially the appointment funnel today as we're talking about it. Who is this funnel interesting for? Any agency out there, any service provider, any um, coach or consultant, any consultancy business, this is really your funnel to generate um, yeah, appointments and calls with people very quickly that are actually qualified for you, that fit your offer, that are interested in your offer, because you can make this very specific when you're looking at your target group. And this example in this template is actually really great for that because we have built the template from the viewpoint of a LinkedIn marketing agency. Adding to that, that this funnel is also very interesting, obviously, then for any local business. Um, it's interesting for the real estate industry as well as the insurance market. So, um, yeah, if any of these industries are the industry that you are presently working in, then this funnel is also just right for you. And if not, take the inspiration from this video and adjust the template to your industry, to your, to your case, to your project. And yeah, just use all the tips that I'm giving you. The first tip that I want to start into this uh, video with really is that your value proposition that you give up here in your headline really has to fit the trust that your visitor, your per like p possible customer gives you. And what do I mean by that? That is that, for example, here, this LinkedIn agency says, 10 qualified client appointments per week in your calendar, or we work for free. And as the visitor of this funnel, I'm now asking myself the question, do they have the expertise to do so? And the trust that is portrayed through my brand as that LinkedIn agency, or the trust that is in this funnel really has to be so trustworthy that I, I'm not asking myself this question. I should be on this page and be like, yep, those are the experts. I want that offer. So going through this funnel, I really have to trust this LinkedIn agency. And that is built through not only the image that they portray online, their branding, anything that they do within their marketing, but especially in this funnel by branding, by design, by trust elements like these logos down here from customers, what you can expect um, also their their clients that talk about the experience with them so these are actual testimonials they have to be valid and real and not fake or anything like that and then also it's a little bit of an um about you approach down here you could make this really like extensive it doesn't have to be as short of the, as this 
and then it is just repeated down here. But you can tell that this funnel really has a lot of trust elements and also just by the design, it is very polished and speaks of expertise. So you have to have a great value proposition up here. And this can be a tackle, um, and we speak about this in the path of success within your perspective account, so definitely check that out. But um, the value proposition really makes the funnel successful or not. So think about something that is actually valuable for your custom audience and think about something that they really want. The next thing is the question pages. So after the like the, the, the landing page of your funnel are a bunch of questions in the appointment funnel. Don't do more than three to five or six questions. It, it will just get too long and will show that you don't really know anything about your audience while these questions are actually used to show interest. You really want to know what their advertising budget for LinkedIn is. And you really want to know what their role at the company that they're working at is. You want to know the price range. Like <laughs> I just duplicated those for an example. But I, yeah, you really want to know what in what price range the products are. So these questions are supposed to, to show interest, to show your target audience that you're really interested in their pain points. And it should give them a great feeling. They should go through these questions, be like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And just be like, oh, they're interesting. They're, they're, they're interested in what I'm doing. And not too much thinking should be required. So it shouldn't be a question of what was your last business case and how did you resolve it, for example. I should be able to just push a button and I'm done with a question, but I know that the company asking is interested in my answer. Also, what I also uh, already said is with the landing page is this like first view, no scroll till action. So you want to continue this within the goal page, the price range page. So any question page that you have. And what I just showed in a different video, that's why I duplicated this here, is that you don't want to do more than four of these squares for your answers. Why? Because then it continues on mobile downwards and you will have to scroll as a visitor and that's just not nice. Um, also keep in mind that if you delete one of the four, the three of them, of course on desktop it will look great, but on mobile three just, I don't know, it's not symmetrical. I cannot recommend that. Just do two or do four. And uh, same with the goal page. You could do more goals on this page as this question goes into detail a lot, but you shouldn't do more than what you see on your first screen on the page so the prospect doesn't have to scroll through their phone and can just do one action, which is tapping. The next tip that I have for you is taking a look at the opt-in page. And, you know, putting your personal data somewhere can always be like a little bit tricky. You know this yourself when you go through the world of online ness and you decide, hey, I want to buy this product, but personal data, mm, not so much. So, I mean, your, your prospect probably isn't any different. So keep this in mind when building a funnel. If your prospect gets to the opt-in page, they really need to get why you need their data. So. The value proposition from the very beginning must still make sense here. So you see that we put choose your preferred date to get to know us up here instead of saying, please put your data in here. So good copywriting is requested here. And please keep this uh, or if you keep any tips from this video, let it be this one. And also, this page can get really long if you want to know a lot of things about your prospect. So another tip here is to use as few fields as possible and as many as necessary for your contact form. Why is that? You get this also. It's a very great example. If someone asks for your first name, your last name, your address, your house number, your postal code, this, I don't know, the city that you're living in, um, then they want your phone number, that your house phone number, they want to know what your pet's name is, what your hair color is, your eye color, you get it, it's just way too much information. And you start to hesitate, you start to doubt, do I really want to put in all of that? So if you are asking for someone's email address or you need someone's email address to um, 
fulfill your value proposition then only ask for their name and their email address you do not need their last name you do not need their phone number just keep it minimal for better conversion because as soon as this has like six or seven um, form fields your conversion rate will just drop 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 so don't do that and that's pretty much it from my side I hope that you took some inspiration to build this funnel. Again, interesting for agencies, coaches, consultancies, and pretty much in any other business um, industry, I mean, um, where there is some sort of appointment needed, a talk needed. Um, if you want to do direct sales, this is very, um, very, very popular. And um, a great appointment funnel needs a great value proposition. So my tip here is to test a lot and yeah that's it from my side i hope that uh yeah you took some inspiration from this video if there are any questions on how to get this template to work or if you need some help don't hesitate to reach out to us we have a great support team you can always ask us questions and yeah that's that's all the tips that i have for you today and i wish you a lot of fun getting into implementation thank you so much for watching and see you next time